Hey guys, Ray here, and welcome to part 2 of my night lapse tutorial video. This part of the video will be focusing on editing and colour correcting your time lapse that you will have taken following part 1. Now, if you haven't seen part 1, you can click here to watch that, and I would strongly recommend you watch part 1 before we go into part 2. For editing and colour correcting, I normally use Final Cut Pro X, but for the purpose of today's tutorial, I will be using GoPro Studios, which you can download from this link here. I'll be using GoPro Studios because it is free and easy to use, so it's perfect for beginners. So, let's get started. Once you've finished recording your night lapse, the first thing you're going to want to do is import that footage onto the computer. Now obviously this can take a while to copy the files, so I've already done it, and I'll just bring mine up now. So, once you have all your files on the computer, you're going to want to open GoPro Studios, as that is what we'll be using to edit this night lapse. Normally I use Final Cut Pro, but because GoPro Studio is free and really easy to use, for this tutorial I'll be using that. So you simply click and drag your clips into the Import New Files section, and it will automatically build it into a small time lapse. So I'll just put this full screen. So you can see here, you select it, and you can scroll through and preview the video. Now, on here it's really grainy and horrible, as you can see. So, the first thing you're going to want to do on here is check the advanced settings. Make sure you change your image size to 1080p, keep the frame rate at 30 frames a second, and make the quality as high as possible. Once you've done that, you can simply choose a file name, I'll just call this Night Labs, check that it's saving to the right directory, and you can change that by clicking here. And once all that is good, click Add Clip to Conversion List and then you're ready to click convert. Depending on the power of your computer and the amount of images that you have, converting can take quite a while, but as I only have a three second time lapse, conversion shouldn't take too long. So once this file is finished converting, we will be going to the editing phase where we can color correct, change the exposure and contrast of the video to make it look as good as it can look. All right. So now that the conversion's done, we can proceed to step two. GoPro Studio is going to want, sorry, GoPro Studio is going to try to make you choose a template, but because we only want the time lapse, I normally just choose blank template. Now, as you can see, we can click and drag our night lapse movie that we just saved, and it will go into the timeline. GoPro Studio automatically applies a sort of preset to the footage once you've imported it. And that's why it looks really dark and kind of horrible here as well. Although th there's no noise, the stars aren't very detailed and neither is the background. So I'm going to change that. First, you'll want to open all these tabs. The first thing I would recommend correcting is the exposure. As you can see, there's not much detail in the footage. So we're going to want to increase the exposure and also bring down the contrast just a little bit. So you can see there, just bringing it down that tiny bit, we can get the detail in the trees along the horizon. Now if we up the exposure a little bit more, about there, down the saturation, definitely turn down the sharpness a little bit, that helps get rid of some of the grain and noise in the footage. And there you have it, already it's looking a lot better. Oh my bad, the first frame is horrible. Gonna have to, you just sort of have to play with it, uh, maybe up the contrast a bit saturation and there we go so obviously I had the first frame on a different setting but as you can see here that all looks quite nice maybe need to down the contrast just a little bit so we can see all the detail in the Milky Way here now once we've got the exposure and contrast set correct we want to set the temperature and tint which is under white balance here Normally I like my time lapses or night lapses to look a little bit blue because it sort of mimics the sky. So if we just change the tint here, you'll see we can get it quite blue, looking a bit better. Now we can add a little bit of tint. Sort of brings out a bit more detail in the sky as well. We don't want it too purple, just a little bit. And there you have it. There is the night lapse. Now it is still a bit grainy, obviously GoPro Studio isn't the best tool, so if you are interested in making videos and time lapses, 
I would definitely recommend getting a more advanced program such as Final Cut or Adobe After Effects, any of the Adobe software as well. The good thing about GoPro Studio though is first of all it's free and it's also very simple to use. As you can see we've done this in about five minutes and it looks pretty good. You can go up here and change split so you can see what it looks like before and after. So before is on the left, after is on the right. You can see after there's about the same amount of detail, the colour looks a lot better, contrast is a lot better, and there's a lot less noise. So, once that's finished and you're happy with your product, simply click export, choose a file name, so I'll just call this Night Lapse, final one, choose where you want to save it. Now normally I use the custom preset, choose the best quality possible, 1080p composition, keep the same frame rate, and encode it as a H.264, which is the general standard for uploading to YouTube. Now click export and your time lapse should be done. So make sure you muck around with this and try out try out all the different settings yourself. You may be able to get a better looking time lapse than what I've done here, as the initial photos that I took weren't the greatest for this one. But it was a fun little experiment anyway. So, once that's finished, you'll be able to play back your final product. So what you're watching right now is the final time lapse we produced. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's on the screen now. Head over to my channel to see some of my other time lapses, such as my Uluru time lapse that this was taken from, and my sunrise and sunset time lapse. Thanks guys. Cheers.